The interaction of big cats with bears is no less interesting topic for discussion than the interaction of big cats with crocodiles. For those interested in this topic, I have prepared a translation of a good article on the interaction of bears with tigers in the Russian Far East. This article was written back in 2007, but almost all of the new data on the interaction of tigers with bears fits perfectly with what is described in this article. The main thing I have edited is the data on the weights of tigers and bears to match the more detailed studies. Since footage of tigers and bears interacting in the Russian Far East is very rare, the video will mainly show footage of tigers interacting with sloth bears in Indian parks. Questions about the interaction between the Amur tiger and the Asuri brown bear attracted the attention of many scientists. However, there is not so much reliable information about the interaction of these animals. Sergei Pavlovich Kucherenko believes that the average tiger is stronger than the average bear. But a careful analysis of the interaction between these predators leads the author to the conclusion that the brown bear is more aggressive in relation to tigers than vice versa. Tigers target small bears when they hunt, but the tigress, protecting her cubs, is ready to fight any bear to death and often dies in fight. According to the materials of the zoologist Viktor Efimovich Kostoglod, out of 28 cases of fights of these two top predators known to him, the priority in the attack was more often on the side of the brown bear. Kostoglod recorded seven attacks of brown bears on tigers and six attacks of tigers on brown bears. Of the already mentioned 28 fights between tigers and bears, in 11 cases the tiger won, in 9 cases the bear won and in 9 cases there was a draw. Among the 9 killed tigers, there were 5 adults and the rest 4 were cubs. The evidence that bears are more likely to initiate conflicts was then confirmed by Kucherenko, who stated that out of 44 reliably recorded cases of fights, bears were the initiators of the conflict in 13 cases, and tigers in 9 cases, but in 22 cases it was not possible to determine the aggressor. In these fights, bears died in 14 cases, tigers in 8 cases, and in 22 cases the animals retreated, having received rather severe wounds. Sevalatsasoev reports about four fights between a tiger and a bear, two fights ended in favor of the bear, one was won by the tiger, and the last was a draw. Hunting expert Korakov noted that out of ten fights between adult tigers and brown bears, the opponents dispersed in five cases, the tiger won in three cases, and the bear won in two cases. Kramtsov in his paper, On Bear-Tiger Relations in the Spurs of Zapovedny Ridge, wrote that from 1989 to 1990, eight cases of death of Asian black bears from tigers and only one case of death of a brown bear from a tiger were recorded. No cases of death of tigers from bears have been recorded. During the three seasons of winter stationary observations, Yudakov and Nikolov only twice observed tigers eating bears, and these were Asian black bears. At the same time, according to Kchenko, in the tiger feces he studied, the remains of a brown bear were found in 18 and half 5 percent of the samples, and the remains of the Asian black bear in only 14 and 8 tenths percent of the samples. In general, the brown bear ranks third in the tiger's diet after the wild boar and red deer. To study the interactions of a tiger and a bear, biologist Rakovsky interviewed 42 hunters in the Primorsky territory. Of these, seven hunters answered that the tiger specifically hunts a bear. Six people said that a bear is following the trail of a tiger to collect the remains of its prey. Fourteen told about fights between a tiger and a bear without lethal outcome. Two recalled cases when a bear killed a tiger. Eleven said the tiger killed the bear. Rakowski himself, like most other authors, believes that fights between tigers and bears most often occur in the hungry years for bears, when bears run into tigers near the animals killed by the latter. Such meetings rarely end in a fatal fight and only in rare cases, a tiger can become a prey for a hungry bear. The tiger, on the other hand, prefers to hunt not brown but smaller Asian black bears. Rakowski himself once determined from the trail that a brown bear had killed a tiger. The bear was very large and the tiger was a male about four years old. The very place of the fight, showing broken trunks of fir trees as thick as an arm, scattered scraps of wool and dripping blood, proving a long and fierce struggle. What conclusions can be drawn from this information? 
Firstly, it is obvious that none of the predators has complete superiority over the other, although the tiger still more often comes out victorious from fights. This may be due to the fact that tigers attack bears in order to kill them and target mainly females and young animals. Secondly, the bear may be more aggressive than the tiger, but the tiger is clearly not a typical prey item for the bear. Bears are opportunists, and they usually come into conflict with tigers when they try to steal prey from tigers. Thirdly, the result of fights often turns out to be a draw, that is, a situation when the animals simply disperse, or one of the opponents runs away. But what determines the outcome of the battle? The size, sex, age and health of the animals are of great importance. The 120 kg tigress has little chance of surviving a fight with an adult male bear. Likewise, a female bear is unlikely to be able to defeat an adult male tiger. But protecting cubs, a female will be ready to fight to the end even with a stronger opponent. If we are talking about age, it is necessary to consider that young animals may not have experience of fighting with another large predator and may not accurately assess the danger and physical condition of the enemy. If we're talking about size, it should be noted that the Asuri subspecies of the brown bear is one of the largest in the world, smaller in size only than the bears of Kamchatka, Alaska and the Kodiak Islands. The normal weight of an adult male Asuri tiger is about 190 kilograms. Females are one-third lighter than males. For male Asuri brown bears, the normal weight is about 193 kilograms, while there are no data for females. Historically, both the Asuri brown bear and the Asuri tiger were heavier. The large Asuri brown bears can weigh over 300 kilograms, but only if we are talking about bears that gained weight before hibernation in a good year. Unlike tigers, bears experience significant seasonal weight change. If for some reason the bear does not hibernate, then winter turns into a very difficult surviving test for it. A rogue winter bear is, as a rule, an animal suffering from a lack of food, an animal that is rapidly losing fat reserves. This statement is true even if the bear kleptoparasitize on tigers and feeds on the remains of their prey. For a large animal is clearly not enough amount of food and low temperatures further increase energy costs. Hunger makes a bear very aggressive and courageous, thereby increasing his chances of winning in fight with a tiger. But at the same time, Hunger leads to the fact that the rogue winter bear can lose weight superiority over the tiger as well as the protective fat layer. This circumstance seems especially important because a meeting of a tiger with a 300 plus kilogram bear is unlikely. It is unlikely that a tiger will dare to attack such a large bear. It is unlikely that a bear will attack a tiger because the weight of the animal itself indicates that it has enough food. It is important to consider the situation in which the fight occurred. Is there an attempt to take the prey or is it an attack to kill the opponent, the degree of hunger and the territory in which the fight took place? The tiger, for which the bear periodically acts as an object of hunting, catching the opponent by element of surprise. A tiger attacking a bear in a den also have an advantage, because the bear in this case is deprived of the necessary mobility. The timing of the battle is also of great importance. The tiger has less stamina and gets tired faster. For a bear, an extended fight means an increased chance of winning. Thus, the question of who is stronger, the Amur tiger or the Asuri brown bear, is rather controversial. It is difficult to draw a conclusion about which of these two large predators is stronger, judging only by the interaction of these animals in the wild.